All right, so a couple more confusing conundrums that I've solved with the Fostex. Um, and some of these things are technically in the manual, but some they omit a lot of details too. Um, a lot of really important ones. And, um, you know, the more that I've sat down with this thing and um, pulled my hair out trying to figure out how to make things work, the more I've realized what a piece of shit this thing actually is and how counterintuitive it is. Um, so one thing that I've learned that's really important is that um, the only way that you can record any uh, sort of instrument onto a mono track, which typically that's what you're trying to do when you have like maybe a synthesizer, a guitar, a bass, a microphone, you're trying to just record mono tracks um, onto separate tracks um, for each instrument. That's typically what you're doing when you're trying to make fucking music. Um, so the only channel that works, there's A, B, C, and D. The only channel that works if you want to record mono tracks is you have to use channel A. I'm, I'm serious. They make you do that. So what you have to do is right now I have, um, there's another rule too, that if you have anything plugged into these quarter inch jacks, um, it takes priority over what's plugged into the XLR jack. So if I have something plugged into this quarter inch jack here, which is my synthesizer, um, so let's arm it for recording. And you can see that when I'm playing the keys, I'm getting a signal here, but now I have my microphone plugged in too, into the XLR. Let's tap it, no signal. So if I unplug this XLR and I turn the trim knob over to mic, we get a signal. So that's really fucking stupid if you ask me. Now, you you might say, well, what if I want multiple instruments plugged into this thing so I don't have to keep unplugging things and, uh, and have things just set up for me to record? Well, what you have to do if you want to have your mic recorded is you have to record in stereo. And in order to record in stereo, the only input that works is input B. C and D don't work for some reason. So that's another lie from the manual. Um, channel B or input B is the only channel that works if you want to record an external source like with an XLR cable, like a microphone, into stereo. And you have to record in stereo because you're not allowed to use input A if something's already plugged into input A. So what you would do in that case, another th another thing that I learned is that, well, you might say, oh, well, the easiest solution is if, if you have to record in stereo is to select either um, channel 5 slash 6 or channel 7 slash 8. Nope, doesn't work. I'll prove it to you. Let's look at the meters. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it does work. But let's see if I'm getting input in my left earphone. Yeah, so it doesn't work, and I'll tell you why. So I'm getting um, only a signal in my right headphone and not my left headphone. Um, and there is no fucking pan knob for channel... 5 slash 6 or 7 slash 8, and I guess that's because they're technically supposed to be stereo tracks. But, I mean, this is a big problem because there's nothing... All I have is an XLR cable plugged from my microphone into the machine, so there's no reason why it should just pan right. That doesn't make any sense because um, there's nothing in there setting that pan if I just have a mono cable going in here. Um, so what you have to do, since you're not allowed to use... 7 slash 8 or 5 slash 6 is you can only use a, any combination and you have to select two of channels 1 through 4 but here's the kicker let's say I select tracks 3 and 4 so I'm getting a signal now now I'm getting it in both headphones it's centered it's at unison but here's the problem is if you look only track 4 is getting a signal so that means that even though I have it in unison and I have two of these tracks selected, that means I have to record onto track three and track four, but track four is the only track that's going to have a balanced, centered, unison microphone signal. So it's not like, and if I were to, it's not like there's, you know, track three and four both panned center or both panned left or right, depending on how I select my pan knobs. So that's fucking retarded. I don't know why that, that is, but that's, I guess, a design flaw. I'm not sure. And I'm willing to, if some representative from Fostex is willing to, you know, come out of the grave and tell me why I'm stupid, like, I'd love to hear it um, so he can correct me and show me how to actually use this thing. But 
I, I've sat down with this thing for like three hours, and this is like what I've come up with. Um, I'll show you. If I plug this microphone input into channel C or channel D over here, watch. Nothing. I'm tapping on this mic. Nothing. No signal at all. Yep, and look, I have... And what's crazy is I'm getting... It's telling me that I have a signal. When I'm tapping on this microphone, it's peaking, it's clipping. Um, but it's not transferring over to the computer of this device or whatever. It's not getting a signal in, inside of it internally. So that's that doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, what, what the fuck are these other are C and D for if I can't use them? Like, why are there mic microphone inputs on this if I can't fucking use them? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Let's see if 7 and 8 work if I use channel C slash D. Let me just do that last thing before I leave you guys. Okay, so for whatever reason... Oh, nope, nothing. Yep, nothing. Yep, so if, you want, if you're forced to record in stereo because this channel A is occupied and you don't want to like unplug what you already have plugged into channel A to record in mono, unfortunately, channel B is the only channel strip that works. And you have to select two recording channels. And when you do that, only one of them actually has a signal that's centered. And you can pan that left and right, like it's a mono signal that you can pan left and right, but I thought the whole point of recording in stereo, which you're forced to do in this scenario, is that you're recording in stereo, where you're recording on two different um, channels. So it really defeats the purpose anyway. That means I'm recording dead air on one channel and recording a mono signal on another, even though I'm supposed to record in stereo. This is fucking retarded.